Eric Copeland and this is WCP News. And finally in this hour, we're going to take you to the Wall City for the sights and sounds of a new festival designed to celebrate the ongoing work towards peace and normalisation in the city. There are lots of people out and about and in amongst them is Alan Talbot, who we're going to cross to now at Guildhall Square. Alan. Thank you, Merrick. And you join a WCP team here on a glorious late spring day in Guildhall Square. And as you can see, events are in full swing. Over the next few hours, we will be bringing you all the colour and carnival atmosphere from right here under the gaze of these magnificent 400-year-old city walls. And we go now to our reporter, Jenny Sampson, who is with some of the younger performers in Ebrington Square. Jenny. Square and I've been getting a few singing lessons from some of the young people taking part in the event. I have to say they're in great voice themselves and I can't wait to hear them. So kids, show me what you got! <laughs> Well, I'm delighted to say I'm joined today by Pronchus Hart, the city governor who is here to launch the Peace Festival. Uh, governor, thank you for joining us. Hello, Alan. It's my pleasure to be here. And I must just say how fantastic it is to see people out and about again. It certainly is. So, Governor, what was the inspiration for the Peace Festival? Well, Alan, I'm not sure any of us expected the pandemic to last quite as long as it did. And I just thought that once it was over, it would be great to have a festival here in the city to mark the end of this terrible time for all of us. I think it's high time the city came together and celebrated again. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, I'm sorry, Governor, we're going to have to leave our coverage of events here. Uh, we just received word of a security incident unfolding in the heart of the walled city. And we go now to Jenny Sampson, who's on the scene. Jenny. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Good to see you. How are you? Thank you, Alan. This is Jenny Sampson, WCP News, reporting from outside St. Columns Cathedral here in the walled city centre of the walled city. Reports reached us a few moments ago of an emerging security incident. What's going on behind you there, Jenny? There's some kind of security operation where the elite internal security team are in attendance. Well, wait till you see it all kick off, oh, boys. Sir, do you think there's a potential for violence here today? Always. With them, boys? The internal security team. Especially when it comes to dealing with Christopher. Look get that camera out of my face. Well, there's certainly an air of tension on the ground here, Alan. If this situation, whatever it is, could spill over into violence. Yeah, it's six, six, no, okay. it's a peace no, fest. Yes, 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 can't. Yes, just let it go. Okay. I don't even know where okay. we're here. Yeah, it's easy. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Officers. I take it you're the leader of this lot. So my friends. Christopher. You know my name. Christopher, I'm detaining you. For what? We're just here for the peace. Just don't panic, okay? Let it go. It's okay. No, 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 let's get hurt here. Just take it down. You're being detained under the Special Powers Act 2022. What? This is absolutely ridiculous. I know. Look, this was going to happen. It was going to happen. Hey, come on. We just need to hear Step back now. Listen, it's a peace festival. It's a peace festival. It's a peace festival. It's a peace festival. Be calm. Every time we're about to start antagonizing people, left, right, and center. Excuse me. What's the point in coming here like this? Please be calm. We're just standing here. Yeah, we're okay. Exactly. We're having a conversation. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. There's nobody to be sexy in a conversation. Be calm. 
Hey, Something has happened, Alan. There's been some kind of attack, and we have an IST on the ground. Excuse me, WC Media, did you see what happened? There's been a stabbing. Did you see the stabbing take place? It's what it looked like to me. Apparently, there's been some kind of stabbing here, Alan, and we certainly have an IST down. We got you. We got you. Uh, okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. You. It was you. I saw you. We all saw you. Isn't that right, lads? Uh, no, it's all I'm... right. I saw it. It's grand. It's okay. We all saw it. After Christopher, I'm detaining you under the Offences Against the Persons Act of 2019. No, that's not what we have. Mind your Jude, business, please. okay? It is what it is. It's okay. All right? You might come to regret meeting me, Jude. No. Jude, it's okay, please. Yeah, you, you Jude, me. it's okay. I'm Jude, going, I'm going. take a step back. Christopher, I need to tell you about anything you say, maybe. Well, the IST have a man in custody, and it would appear that there has indeed been a stabbing here today, Alan. It's an incredibly serious situation, and it's back to you in the Guildhall Square. Are we clear? Did you see that? Just stood there like he was expecting it or something. And uh, welcome back. I'm still with the governor. And um, perhaps just a quick word on the events unfolding elsewhere in the city before I let you go. Oh, no, nothing more than a routine incident, I'm sure, and let's not allow it to spoil the day. Well, WCP News is reporting that the situation involves Christopher. I really don't have much time for people such as this Christopher. He doesn't have a mandate to speak for or on behalf of anyone. Well, apparently one of the internal security team attending the incident has been stabbed. Uh, these are, of course, unconfirmed reports at present. Well, if it is confirmed, then it will only serve to validate my decision to bring in the new Special Powers Act. We need all the tools at our disposal to deal with and thwart any threats from any quarter to the safety of our citizens. Well, uh, thank you, Governor. And um, we'll cross back now to Jenny Sampson, who is with some eyewitnesses to the events just moments ago. Jenny. Thank you, Alan. WCP News, did you witness the events that just took place? Okay. I don't know. You didn't see it? No, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, WCP News, did you witness the events that just took place inside the cemetery? No, okay. You didn't see anything, no? No. no. <laughs> Christopher's getting off that. Why are you even carrying a knife? There's nothing else they could do that. They left Hamburg screwed. Is it on wash now? Excuse me, WCP News, did you witness what just took place a few moments ago? Look, okay. he did nothing, all right? He did nothing. Excuse me, are you Christopher? I am. Why have you been arrested? You accused me of stabbing someone. And did you? Why don't ask him yourself? Stabbing didn't matter, they were coming for me anyway. Are you claiming that this was a false arrest? Why would they do that? To silence me. Can you elaborate on that, to silence me? What are they trying to silence? To silence me. I'm sorry, Christopher, please, could you, could you just elaborate on that? Nobody comment? is allowed with the prisoner. Speak again, Jenny. Speak again. Speak again. Speak again. Did you see that? It was like he knew me. No, it's hard to describe it. It was like he knew me or something. I know it sounds ridiculous. But look, there's your man. Go on, go on. John, where's the rest of them? Scattered. Where did Jude go? No. I thought he'd be the last one to disappear. Look, the, 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 the TV's here and everything. It's all wrecked. It's not coming with me. Stay with Christopher. But it's dangerous. Come on! 
we have confirmation that the man the IST have in custody is known simply as Christopher. However, the sheer size of the crowd here has forced them back inside the cemetery. Presumably, they'll have to make some kind of effort to get him out of there towards the Guildhall Square, and we'll be waiting here for further comment when he does come out. Look at the tea here. How? How are? You know what? I felt it. The knife. That pain. Maybe you just imagined it. You saw the knife and assumed the pain. I assumed there's blood on my hand as well. Just let it go. Thanks. Life is precious. That's your game. Game? This isn't a game. So what is it? It's my destiny. Destiny? Do you want to talk to them about destiny? What's this? Calls a little chats now. We need to get him down to the guild hall now. Get him moving. Okay, we're going to head straight there. Back. Do not be told again. Take a step back. Take a step back. Take a step back. Let's go. WCP News can now confirm that an attempt was made on the life of one of the elite internal security team this morning after a unit swooped to the group in the cathedral quarter of the city. The group's suspected leader, Christopher, has been detained. Uh, due to the blocking of arterial routes, the IST are going to bring the suspect through the city on foot to the seat of the local administration here at Guildhall Square. And we cross now to Merrick Copeland. Merrick. Thanks, Alan. Well, also in this hour, we're receiving further reports of an unapproved rally being held by the pro-authoritarian Caiaphas organisation in support of the new Special Powers Act. Speaking at this rally is their leader, Ian Martin, who has been known to provoke a strong reaction in the past. It's time we took this lawless minority by the scruff of the neck and brought them to heel. Yeah! These may be regrettable steps, but let me tell you, they are steps that we must take now to protect our society, our way of life, and most importantly, our children's futures. Yes! yes. Not next week, not next year, but now. And if anyone seeks to tear down that, which over the years we have built up, they will be met with strong and terrible resistance. Yes, And let's quickly go back to Jenny with further developments on the wall. Jenny. It came out of nowhere. Christopher was being moved along the walls when he was recognised by a group of people we assume are members of the Caiaphas organisation who attempted to attack him only to be held back by the IST and individuals within the crowd. The IST have now taken cover and brought Christopher up here onto the bastion behind me. The situation seems quite dangerous. Uh, has, has it settled down at all, Jenny? The ISC seem to have taken control, but the attack does appear to have been an orchestrated attempt to get at Christopher. That's Ian Martin Allen, head of the Caiaphas organisation. I'm going to attempt to get a few words with him now. Uh, well, thank you, Jenny. I'm now joined by WCP chief political correspondent Killian Temple. Killian, what do you make of all this? Hello, Alan. Yes, we're seeing a lot more of this street action tactic, as the Caiaphas organisation likes to call it. For an organisation that claims to be defending law and order, they seem remarkably willing to take the law into their own hands. Yes, it might seem that irony has escaped them, but the Caiaphas organisation are not known for their tolerance of those they perceive to be working against the best interests of the state. Uh, they reacted very quickly to the situation involving Christopher. Well, this Christopher is well and truly on everyone's radar now in the city. Well, well thank you, Killian. Uh, we return now to Jenny Sampson, who is with Ian Martin, the leader of the Caiaphas organisation. Jenny. Yes, Alan, I'm here with Ian Martin. Mr Martin, can I get a few comments from you, please, on today? Of course. It's Jenny Sampson, isn't it? 
Yes, could I ask why you have encouraged your supporters to attack the IST when you claim to be a defender of law and order yourself? Well, these are not my supporters, but concerned citizens who have a sense of loss of control throughout their community. People just don't feel safe anymore. But these are the people that came out to attend your rally, so surely the actions by those riding completely contradicts your message. As I said to you before, these are not officially my supporters. But they did come out to listen to you. My patience and that of my supporters has run thin with the troublemakers such as Christopher Carter. When ordinary, decent people see their way of life being threatened, it's not surprising some of them feel compelled to take matters into their own hands. Could I ask what Christopher has done to you specifically? Reports are that he's barely been in the city for a week. He's nothing but an instigator. A lot of questions but no solutions. And a direct threat to the authorities. But now, if you'll excuse me, I'm a very busy man. I was stabbed. You saw it. Well, I didn't exactly see anything. So what's this? Where do you think this hole came from? How do you explain that? I don't know, some conjuring trick. You what? It's always that. Do you know hear about water and the wine tricks? His healing stunts, the gimmicks. But he hasn't got me pulled in. I know he? what I felt. If there was no stabbing, why were we arresting him? He was always going to be arrested. Special Powers Act. Stabbing was a bonus. Yeah, but there was no evidence. But they don't know that, do they? And really, it's all about what they think they know. Why were you arresting him in the first place? Because you were told to. Following orders. Yeah, soldier, you were following orders. And don't you go getting any oceans in your heads. You need to get him moving. We're sitting ducks here, yeah? So get ready, going now! Let's go! Following orders. What? How many times have I heard that? Mind your own business. How often has that been used when horrific deeds are done? Shut it! Hate crimes and genocide. I don't need I a lecture from you. I was just following orders. I'm not giving you a lecture. I'm just telling you, there comes a moment in time when you need to open your eyes. Really take in what you see. Question! Question what exactly? Your purpose. Everyone has a choice to make. Is this yours? If you were given a second chance, what would you do with it? What's going on, Jude? Nothing. Nothing's going on. Shut down. He should be fighting back. It's not his way. He has no option. There's no point coming so far if he isn't going to do anything. What did you do? He should be getting ready to attack, not lying down to them. Is this whole situation your fault, eh? Hey? You always know what's best, don't you? Get a move come on, quick, go. The atmosphere has turned very ugly here, chanting for the head of the suspect, and they're on the move, Alan. We'll get back to you with any further developments. In recent months, it's become quite clear that despite all the suspicions about him, some people are still being convinced by this man. In what now looks like a calculated strategy, he has built pockets of support in rural areas before attempting to bring his movement to the city. People come to me and they ask, what am I against? The governor, the Kayapas organization, the city itself. I'm not against any of these people. I'm for the poor, the broken, the lost. I'm for the downtrodden. I'm for anyone who wants to help make this a better world. A world filled with love. I'm for anyone who stands against the bigotry, the hatred, corruption and greed and for anyone who believes that we can save this world that we can bring heaven and put it here on earth i'm not here to criticize or make snide comments from the sidelines or social media posts but what i am here for is to bring about a revolution no 
We need action. We need to take back control by whatever means Jim. necessary. We need action Jim. now. Don't you be following me. Don't you be following me. There, from his own lips, unmistakable talk of uprising. That, coupled with today's stabbing, is damning evidence that will speak loudly to the authorities of the potential threat posed by Christopher. And with that, it's back to you, Alan. Well, was that what he was really saying, Killian? All I heard were calls for compassion. Well, he's hardly likely to come straight out and say it, is he? No, it's a clear act of anti-establishment behaviour. I have to agree with Merrick on this one. He may talk of compassion, but his actions say otherwise. The man did stab a security officer. Allegedly. And what about this? These very words heard on that clip. They want to take control by any means necessary. Well, I don't believe it was Christopher who actually used those words. It doesn't matter who said it. The fact is it was said. Rise up. Provocation. And I've been around long enough to know where it leads. Well, we can now go back to uh, Jenny at the gate. Jenny. Thank you, Alan. Crowds continue to gather here at Bishop's Gate as we attempt to get a few words with the suspect. He's... Oh, looks like we have an interview. Hi, Christopher. Hi. Hi, OK. I'm sitting here with a man accused of an almost fatal stabbing. His name, as you've all now come to know, is Christopher. Christopher, why should we believe your innocence? This isn't about my innocence. It's not why I brought you here. To be clear, you didn't actually bring us here. <laughs> the important thing is you're here now. You realise they're calling you an agitator and a terrorist. Who tells the public what to think? The real terrorists, they know who they are. They're watching now. The day of reckoning is at hand. That could be viewed as inciting language. I am inciting. I'm inciting a revolution like no other. A revolution that begins in here. In you. In all of you. You have the power. You can change yourself, you can change the world, and that terrifies them. The truth of my message is love. All you do is tell the world I'm a terrorist. We're just trying to tell the truth. Oh, the truth. Yes. Yeah. Have you spoken to the man that was stabbed? Hey. Have you? What are you doing here? Uh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, have you hey, spoken to the man that was stabbed? Uh, Jenny? Uh, Jenny, are you there? Um, what's going on? Is she, is she okay? Uh, uh, well, um, well, yes. Uh, we, sorry, we appear to have lost a link with Jenny Sampson there. We'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Um, Killian, that interesting interview there with Jenny Sampson and uh, Christopher, I think the main takeaway was the word um, inciting, uh, well, inciting revolution. What do you take, what's your take on that? Clearly incendiary comments. I mean, mixed with vague niceties, but I think there's an awful lot more to this character, Christopher, than meets the eye. Uh, so your reading of inciting revolution is one of violence, anti-authoritarianism, is, is this your take? Absolutely. I mean, could it not possibly be also read as inciting revolution, as inciting a change in thoughts, a change in... And uh, yet we can actually go back to Merrick. WCP News have conducted a poll on social media and the results are in. We asked, is Christopher a dangerous extremist? And a massive 91% of you believe he is. In our second poll, we asked, do you believe that Christopher stabbed an IST? And that's even higher, 94%. So that's you, the public, who believe this man poses a significant threat to the safety and security of the city. No wonder the governor dealt with him so swiftly. Jenny? A strange calm has settled on the situation now, Alan, as Christopher has been brought to the top of Bishop's Gate. The thing is, Alan, we've no idea who is with him. We're being held back by the IST here, none of whom are currently with Christopher. The highest point of old town. What a vista. My city. Their city. Could be our city. Yours and mine. You could be important here. I must already be important if I'm getting to meet Lewis Bell. 
don't test me. Maybe that's what I've been put here to do, to test you. I can offer you all of this. You can make whatever changes you want, as long as you take care of it for me. Aren't you tired wasting your breath trying to persuade them to do what you want? Why not make them? You just don't get it, do you? You can't make them. They have to choose it for themselves. There's nothing you can give me. Accept that, of course. Because it's all you know. Go on. Go on. Really? It's not like you to refuse. It would be so much easier if we were on the same side. It's never too late. You could make a real difference in this world. You know that, don't you? Deep down inside yourself, you do know that. And that's the truth. <sighs> Remember! I'll always be here for you when you need me. The crowd seemed determined to get at Christopher Allen. You can hear the chanting and you can really feel the anger behind me as they make their way down off the walls. And uh, yeah, we appear to have lost uh, Jenny's link again. Uh, apologies for that. Um, a very angry crowd indeed, Killian. There's a simple answer to that. Uh, which is? The person Christopher was just with is none other than Lewis Bell. The notorious underworld figure. Correct. Christopher doesn't look so innocent now, does he? So you're saying there could be a possible link between the two of them? I can't think of anyone but Bell who would have the influence to intervene like this. But why would he? Um, what's he got to do with this? Clearly this just adds further weight to the argument that Christopher is a serious menace. Oh. If he is connected to people such as Lewis Bell, the terrorist and the underworld boss, it's a match made in heaven. Well, well forgive me, Killian, but that does seem unlikely. The picture doesn't lie. Yes, but it uh, can sometimes be taken out of context. And, uh, yes, we can. Sorry, Killian. We are going to go back now to Jenny Sampson. Jenny? Caiaphas supporters have positioned themselves on the double bastion where the IST and Christopher have to pass. The IST appear to be seriously outnumbered as they attempt to run the gauntlet of abuse and potential violence. This could all get very ugly very fast. The situation is a tinderbox, Alan. It'll only take one spark to set the whole thing off. Well, stay safe, Jenny. Please stay safe. And, well, I mean, where are the authorities? This is what I want to know. Where is the, um, or is that possibly... Where is the governor? That is the governor. Yes, that... Well, let's see what happens. Enough! Enough, I said! Hold him and watch him. <coughs> you are a disgrace to your city. I will not have this on these walls. My walls. They attacked us. Why don't you just shut your mouth? Fascist fanatics. Fanatics, is it? You want to see some fanaticism? That will do. I said that will do. Move on. Or will I get someone to move you on for me? Oh. You stay exactly where you are. We don't have the manpower for the crowd do seem to have calmed down somewhat. Governor Hart, I'm not sure if you can see behind me here, is speaking with Christopher, and they have another man um, who appears to have been arrested. However, I just I can't imagine how the IST would have enough manpower to keep two men in custody today. 
You know, you've got me stuck between a rock and a hard place here. No one ever said making the right choice was easy. <laughs> you certainly got that right. Why are you here, Christopher? Because someone has to speak out. Against the injustice, neglect, suffering and pain that these people are in. I can see you have good news. Just somewhere along the line, you lost sight of the difference between power and strength. And what do you know about power? I know that this isn't it. You can make your own choice. Be true to yourself. You have the power to do the right thing. Quiet, quiet. I'm willing to release one man. Whom shall I choose? This man. Jimmy Barr. A convicted criminal. A thief. A violent enforcer. Or this man. Christopher. Release Jimmy You, you the people, you have made this choice. Release the prisoner. Governor Hart, could I get a few words please on your decision here today? They have made this choice, not me. Christopher, Christopher, a few words just on the decision today and how it's made you feel. It's how it's meant to be. It's how it's meant to be. There's something bigger going on here, Alan. It's your man, come on. Leave me alone! I'm not with Christopher! You're looking at cameras, I hear. Are you okay? I'm fine. Leave me alone. What's going on? Nothing. I've seen you before. No. Yes, at the cemetery with Christopher. You're mistaken. I remember you were there. Just give me a few words. I can help tell your story. Yes, I will. I will help you. Leave him alone. Why did you try helping an injured man instead of taking pictures of him? Are you with Christopher as well? I told you we're not. Uh, I'm just trying to help this man, okay? I've been looking for you. I suppose you'll be on your way. Wouldn't want you leaving without this. I always pay my debts. I don't want it. You earned it. It wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs> How do you think it was going to go? You told us where he was and we'd do the rest, that was it. A job well done, I'd say. I don't want it! You better watch! Otherwise, he'll not be the only one getting sorted out today. <laughs> Enjoy your money. Today, a terrorist cell led by Christopher attacked and stabbed a member of the city's elite internal security team. And in connection with those events, we have another WCP exclusive. WCP have managed to track down the young woman Edith Bega, who bravely infiltrated a recruitment meeting for Christopher's terrorist organisation. We brought you footage of that earlier, and I am delighted to say that Edith joins us in the studio via Zoom. Before we get to that, though, let's just remind you of the scene from that meeting. But what I am here for is to bring about a revolution. No! We need action! 
We need to take back control by whatever means yeah. necessary. We need action yeah. now. Don't you be following me. Don't you be... Yeah. Thank you, Edith, for joining us this evening. So tell us, how did you end up at this secret meeting? I didn't think it was secret. And what were they talking about? Well, it's quite simple, really. His message is, if we have the courage to change ourselves, then we have the power to change the world. Really? That's not how it appears in the clip. You don't have the full video. There's more. Can we see it? Sure. Another exclusive, as we bring you further footage of the terrorist Christopher. Don't you be following me! Don't you put that camera away! What have you against us sending our message out? Fear is not good. It is your worst enemy. I've had enough of this. We need to be fighting, not talking! Jude! What are you trying to do? Save the world. Thank you, Edith Baker. Uh, Killian, what's your opinion on this? Well, Merrick, my own suspicions are that this was a setup. <laughs> well, it seemed fairly genuine to me. And uh, sorry, Killian, but we, yes, we can go back to Jenny Sampson. Jenny. Thank you, Alan. The IST have formed a protective cordon around Christopher here on the Grand Parade, although you would have thought they'd be trying to get him off the walls as quickly as possible. And uh, what could be the reason for this? Are they anticipating trouble further down the wall? That's a possibility, Alan, but there's something about this situation that has felt off from the beginning. Um, uh, perhaps the IST are awaiting reinforcements. Even that suspicious, Alan. I mean, yes, the town is closed off, but these are our security forces. Is it realistic to think that they can't get through? Maybe they're being kept away. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Second thoughts? I just think that... No. No. In or out? I'm in. I have someone close. Don't be stupid. We're not going to make a martyr out of him. This needs to be dealt with more subtly. Subtle? I told you before, I can take care of this myself. I'll ask you again. In or out? Out. You know what this means, don't you? Are you all set? We'll get him this time. You better. I won't let you down. I need to get him out of here. Come on. Come on. Oh, well, you've changed your tune. That was Ian Mark. He'd call us up in the bastion. You sure? Come on. Before they get their bottle back. Let's go. Come on. And if you're just joining us, WCP is breaking the story of a suspected terrorist attack which has left one of the city's elite internal security team injured. The incident occurred less than an hour ago in the sleepy cathedral quarter of the city. The peace festival has descended into chaos. Supposed to happen. Jude, it's okay. Jude, it's okay. Oh, Jude. Jude. Oh. Oh. You're hurt. You're okay. You're okay. Oh. I can't move him. I can't move. He's injured. 
need to get trained. Yeah, I need to get trained. I need to get trained. I went to the media. Something is wrong, Alan. Something is terribly, terribly wrong. I'm seeing blood here on the ground. I think Christopher may have been stabbed, but I couldn't see him. I, I simply couldn't see him. He was being held back here behind the crowd by the ISG. And all I can tell you now is that I can see blood on the ground, and it would appear that Christopher has been injured. Well, we are going to rerun that incident, and uh, we would advise viewers of the distressing nature of this footage. Yes, yes, we, we are going to hold that image there. Uh, obviously, we cannot bring you any more. Um, but it does look as though um, Christopher deliberately stepped into the path of the assailant, Killian. That seems illogical, Alan, considering what we know about Christopher. And what is that exactly? The man is a dangerous extremist. In your opinion? He stabbed an IST in the cemetery. Well, maybe you should have a look at this. Uh, this footage is doing the rounds on social media as we speak and was picked up by one of our researchers. And uh, we can now go back to Jenny Sampson, who is with the man who was stabbed in that previous footage. Jenny. We're just walking along the walls here now. Uh, I'm here beside the ISC who has been assisting Christopher all the way along. Just moments ago, um, hopefully our viewers managed to see it. Uh, this man claims that he was stabbed and that the knife went through his clothing, but did not pierce, or did pierce his skin, but was then healed by this man, Christopher. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> healed him. Okay. Okay. I, I did hear that correctly. You said healed him. Okay. 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 Oh. Yeah, oh, he's down, Alan. He's on the ground. We're going to need some help. We need somebody to help. Can somebody please help him? Uh, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you going to be okay? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared like everyone else. Oh, oh, Father. Father, please help me. I must go on. I must go on. For you. Are you okay? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, do what you did for oh, me. Oh, do what you did for me. What would you do for love? Come on. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, Jenny. Um, you're coming down. You're coming. You're coming down the. You make a real difference uh, uh, in this world. Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. Something. You know that, don't you? Happening. What's this? Deep down inside yourself, you do know that. What's going on? And that's the truth. Well, what do you mean you don't know? It's never too late. It's what? You can make a real difference in this world. Um, okay, well, um... You know that, don't you? Uh, what we are seeing, the, the message you are Deep seeing on your screen, you um, apparently is being broadcast the truth. all around no, the world. Daddy. Which can't Quite be right. Car, um, um, and he is the speaking in different ah, languages. Now, Wallace. Yeah, he's speaking in different languages. Um, from, from, from I gather the first piece, it's, it's a, seems to be a message of compassion no, and love. Tardi. Una en este mundo. Now, Wallace. El namás, la profundo de ti. Um. Fuala, la We're moving him down off the walls now, Alan. I'm, I'm just checking with this ISU yeah. member if he can bring him down yeah. alone. Um, I don't think on. two of us are going to fit. Uh -huh. 
Well, Jenny, I should okay. I should tell you now, Jenny. And we're heading off the this, walls now, Alan. Jenny, this is being broadcast all around the world as we speak. The whole world is now watching you and Christopher. Do you understand me? The whole world is now watching. Who would have thought? I understand, Alan. It's, I have, have its blood on my hands. It's, it's an unbelievable situation to be in. I understand, Jenny. Uh, I can actually, we can see you. Yes, we're in Guildhall Square. We can see you, we can see you in the distance. And the crowd is now chanting, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher. It is an unbelievable scene. Uh, he looks in terrible pain. Oh, oh my beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Take and feel listen. But together, we're strong. Together we can we can do so much. But there are those that want to keep us down, keep us divided by their bigotry, hypocrisy, hunger for power. The time is now for us to stand together. Embrace your neighbor. Whatever their race, their color, their creed. Ah, to link arms. To work. All of us together. For our children. For our children's children so that they can live in a world full of laughter. We love in their hearts. For peace in their soul. Please. The time for inaction is over. The time to do is now. You are special. And you are loved. And love is all you need. Seems like a good idea at the time, doesn't it? <laughs> He's meeting someone. Who is this? No way. No way.
Go and tell that midnight rider Tell the rambler, the gambler, the backbiter Tell him God's gonna cut him down Tell him God's gonna cut him down Tell him God's gonna cut him down